Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do something a little different today. I um, was gifted by my friend a set of some Bare Minerals products and I haven't used Bare Minerals in, I don't know, years. I When I first started really wearing makeup, my mom took me to Bare Minerals in the a mall and bought me some of their powder, foundation, a couple products. I don't remember everything we got. And that's kind of how I got into makeup light. And then um, as an acne prone teen, I really wanted something more full coverage and kind of moved on from there. But I did continue to use their Mineral Veil powder. Um, for years, I loved it. Anyway, I thought today would be kind of fun. I'm heading out to run some errands. I'm getting my hair done. I'm thinking of getting some bangs, which I haven't done in years either. Um, so I just wanted a light face today and I thought I would test out these products that I have. This um, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with SPF 30. So um, it says it's you can layer it um, and to just put on with your fingers. I thought I'd try that. I have the Mineral Veil. Um, I have this concealer, uh, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. So I have that. And um, I was also gifted this highlighter, Bare Minerals Bare, Bro Bare, Bare, Minerals Bare Pro Glow highlighter luminous lifting lasting and then I have a uh, bare minerals gen gen nude that peach though um, powder blush so I'm just gonna play see what I can do since I'm just running errands I don't mind you can see I still am having some acne issues per usual for me in my face I just I don't know I can't ever seem to grow out of that I've tried all different kinds of things and it just is what it is I've kind of come to accept my face my skin what I have I just you know you got to embrace who you are and I've always had acne issues and I do wear more full coverage foundation when I'm at work and you know if I'm going out to an event or a special party or anything like that just going out and having fun but sometimes you know you just gotta go light and easy give your skin a chance to breathe I don't know much about this it does have SPF so sometimes that can be an issue but um, I'm okay with just showing me how I am so yes I have some acne still and I do have scarring that I've collected over the years okay so I think I'm just going to start here with the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Cream Gel. So I'm assuming this is kind of like a BB cream. Um, and let's see. Yeah, it's just kind of a nice light coverage. It does say buildable. But I don't think I would ever expect <laughs> anything too crazy out of this. I think I'm going to try it with my Beauty Blender, too, and kind of see how it reacts to that. All right, so that's what it looks like. I think it kind of just shears out a bit. This is a clean Beauty Blender. It doesn't have any other products on it. I'm still battling that cold, too. And if you've watched some of my other videos, I was trying really hard not to sniffle too much, but there's been something going around. Okay, so yeah, this is just a nice light coverage, but I do like how it kind of just diffuses a little bit. My skin, and of course it's giving me some protection because of the SPF. Actually, it's a pretty high SPF. SPF 30, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's see if I can get you guys a little closer here. So, not um, a full coverage at all. It's very, very sheer and light, but a little diffusion on the face. You can still see everything. I have been playing with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin uh, Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Um, 
I've been using it in this week's video of One Palette Five Looks. I've been working on the Marc Jacobs Editorial, and I've been using this concealer. It's a little light for me. I don't think it's quite my color. I liked it with my um, Beauty Blender foundation that I've been using this week, but I noticed I have to go pretty light. Normally, I would do the triangle give myself some good coverage but because it's so light on me it's beautiful um, I don't know how it's gonna work with this because the um, complexion rescue is not you know a full coverage and I feel like my light is just really blue on me lately so I'm sorry if this color isn't that great I'm still kind of trying to figure it out yeah, it's definitely different without full foundation. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more. I'm also just going to put a little bit on some of these scars. I don't think it's going to fully cover them, especially because of the complexion rescue being so sheer, but let's just see what we can get from this. I do like to take my concealer whatever concealer I'm using and I do put it on my eyelid too instead of an eyelid primer or something like the MAC um, paint pots mostly because it cuts down on my routine I'm usually pretty busy in the morning trying to get ready get out the door get to work with the kids and everything although my husband does a lot to help Actually, he does all of it. Let's be real here. I'm up here filming a video, and my husband <laughs> packs the kids' lunches, gets them breakfast, gets them dressed. He's amazing. Um, and he uh, has been doing it for years, even before I started doing these videos. I'm just not a morning person. It takes a lot for me to get out of bed. I struggle with it, and he is so awesome in that way. I'm blessed. You know what? I think I need to do this highlighter first. Okay, it says shake well. <laughs> um, I guess I'll use the beauty blender. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, okay. Wow, let's see if we can get this camera working. Go, you can kind of see it. I shared it out a little bit. It's a nice kind of a candlelit glow. Let's see. Like I said, guys, this really, this really isn't my forte. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you about what I'm good at or what I'm capable of doing. I don't think I'm incapable of doing it. I'm just, it's not my forte, really. Someone was asking me, no, sorry, someone was telling me how they've been watching my videos, which I really appreciate because... This is also new, and they really like how accessible they are, or how I'm not doing wild, crazy looks that are impossible for, like, you know, the average woman. And I think that really is my goal. I love watching channels, you know, that do these elaborate, amazing looks, and I will sit down and try them, but not everybody does that. And I think that's kind of my goal, is to just make something accessible to moms like me or women my age um, who, you know, aren't makeup artists, but like playing with makeup. Okay, so it's hard to see on my camera. Let me check. Yeah, I have a little... This is really pretty. It's nice and light. I actually do really like it. I don't know... Oh, you can really see on camera. I'm gonna, I always do, gosh, what? I don't even know. I was watching some YouTube video. I thought my camera stopped, sorry. And they did this. No, tip of the nose, right here at the bridge. A little bit up here. And of course, the Cupid's bow. Um, and I've been doing it ever since and I really like it. So see, I do get fancy sometimes. Okay. I think my battery's dying, so I'm going to kind of rush this. Um, Mineral Veil Powder. Like I said, I used it oh, I used it years ago. I just dumped it all over the place. I'm just going to use my biggest powder brush and give myself just a really light 
fluffing of it kind of set what I do have going on here um, and we'll see how that helps with everything because right now I do really like the sheer coverage it's nice for a day of errands it's natural and um, it looks good so some little some powder to set that a little bit I'm also going to just use this blush I think I did try it one day just on my own I didn't film it's their Gen Nude Powder Blush. That peach, though, I it's light, which I like. It's perfect for this look. I'm just going to kind of bounce it on my cheeks here. I don't rub because right here is always where I get those acne. Um, I feel like if I do a sweeping motion, then I end up rubbing off whatever concealer and, and kind of coverage I put there. So I just bounce my blush. That's something nice and light. I think sometimes, <laughs> as I go back in, I think sometimes I'm a little heavy handed on my blush. I just <laughs> really like blush. I was a little girl in the 80s and sitting at my auntie's makeup table and she would do my makeup and I just always loved when she did the blush. I don't know why, it just so it's hard for me to like take a step back and remember I'm not, you know, a five year old in the 80s playing makeup. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm going to go powder eyebrow light for my look today and just do um, the Anastasia brow powder and just kind of fill in these little sparse spots here. Just a little bit, not too crazy. I've been working on my brows. Uh, trying to fill in this little patch I have here that I didn't even realize getting real here I didn't even realize I like my eyebrows weren't even until I started filming and doing this these tutorials and Watching myself then on video. I was like, oh my god What's wrong with my eyebrows? And I realized that I had for probably years been over plucking on this side and they're not even and I don't know so I'm trying, it is growing back, interestingly enough. I didn't ruin my face, but <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Eyes, I am going to include this little video of um, this little clip of my eye look in my Marc Jacobs editorial, five um, looks in one palette. So I'm just gonna speed through this for this video's sake. super quick and I'm done. I'm going to um, put on some mascara. I started out using the Hourglass, one of the Hourglass mascaras this week for all my looks and I don't know if it's because it's a sample. Um, the wand holder is a triangle shape and because it's a sample the brush is so close to the holder I found it almost impossible to use on top of the fact that I don't know um, I wasn't really impressed by the formula I just found it really difficult to get my eye lashes um, um, even and kind of spread them out caution extreme lash mascara I think the normal one it's fine but because this is the sample the wand is just so close it's like uh, it's impossible I will give myself just a little spray um, because everything is so light I want to make sure it does kind of stay on so this is just the pixie makeup fixing mist rose water and green tea 
I've been using it. I like it. It smells nice. Here's my finished look. Thank you so much for joining me for this video that's a little different with Bare Minerals. Um, I really, really like this. This is perfect for my errands and I'm getting my hair done. And the next time you see me, I think I'm going to have bangs. And that should be interesting because I haven't done those in forever. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let me know what other makeup you would like to see or what your favorite Bare Mineral products are. Tell me in the comments. What do you use and um, what do you like about it? Let's have a conversation about makeup because it's fun and why not? Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing today, and I will talk to you later. Bye.